Time to take a look at our top stories. A man is dead after a shooting outside of downtown Augusta last night. Richmond County deputies say they went to mom and pop's convenience store on Broad Street for reports of gunshots. When they got there, they say they found the victim. He died at a nearby hospital from his injuries. We're waiting to learn more about the victim from the coroner. For a number of Augusta Commission meetings, hotel representatives have to come to the stand to ask for leaders to help with the problem, guests overstaying their welcome. We're talking about people who stay at a hotel for weeks or months without paying. At the meeting, a Richmond County Sheriff's Office deputy said their office is more than willing to respond to any calls, despite the sheriff himself previously stating the current ordinance needed more teeth. There wasn't a resolution on this yesterday. Now commissioners say they need to look into if this is an issue on creating a new ordinance or if they just need more municipal support support. A House representative is not going to be given up yet to become the next House Speaker. Lawmakers didn't take another vote yesterday, but there are plans for a third attempt today. Representative Jim Jordan is the front runner of that race. His office says that vote could happen around 10 o'clock this morning, and he plans to hold a conference two hours before that. Coming up later today, Augusta University is hosting their first ever music con. It'll be through their Department of Music. There's going to be an open house event planned with several performances, games, and more from 10 to 2. That'll be inside the Douglas Bernard Amphitheater. Don't forget tomorrow's Augusta Duck Dash near the Savannah Rapids Pavilion on the canal. The goal is to raise money for the Family Wise Place to Dream program. We're helping them buy cribs for babies to sleep to lower local SIDS deaths. There's a free family fall festival with bounce houses, trunk retreats happening from 10 to 1. You can also buy a duck for $10 and they'll race down the canal for $8,000 in prizes. There's also a Kids Duck Dash that has prizes for the kids. If you want to learn more, you can head to AugustaDuckDash.com. This just into the newsroom, the coroner identified a victim in that convenience store shooting from last night. He says the victim is 55-year-old Ricky Cooper. An autopsy has been scheduled. 